Bora Peak is the tallest mountain in Idaho, standing at 12,662 feet. It is located in the central section of the Lost River Range. The U.S. Geological Survey named this peak after William Bora, a prominent senior U.S. Senator from Idaho who ran for president two years later in 1936 but did not win the Republican nomination and died in office in 1940. The route we chose to climb involves ascending 5,262 vertical feet from the trailhead to the summit in just over 3.5 miles. This route is located on the southwest ridge and comprised of a strenuous class 4 scramble just before the main summit crest. This route is known as Chicken Out Ridge as many people will abort the attempt once they see the hazards up close. This peak is the pride of Idaho, known locally as Mount Bora rather than Bora Peak. This is our climb up Mount Bora. It's a little past six. We got quite the crew with us. Noah. What's up? Alec. Tim White, and we got Joel back there. Joel, what is going on? Joel's the only one without AT gear. He's got snowshoes and regular alpine skis. So he's ready to go. And he's a strong hiker. AT skis are for old people. <laughs> the climb today is about 5,000 vertical feet in just over three miles. So it's basically straight up. The hike starts out in an area where you can park your car and camp out. There's a trailhead that leads you up to the ridge. We had to hike about 2,000 feet until we reached the snow line and we were able to transition to skis. 2,000 vert, finally hitting snow. It was not bad coming up here at all. Much better than Mount Church. We hit this peak in late spring. The snow on the approach was cruddy, but firm enough to stay on top and make hiking easy. We got our first glimpse of the Chicken Out Ridge. We're far away from the crux, but trying to plan out bail points, potential bail points and potential routes down. It's actually pretty intimidating, this mountain. The ridge line that we are, like our route is, yeah, it's pretty intimidating. And then the way down, it's pretty rocky. Um, so we'll just see, I'll go up and see how I feel. See how I'm gripping to the snow with my crampons. See if I feel safe. And if I do, I'll give it a go. I don't know, it's just, I don't know how many people are going to make it up. It's not its not our physical, it's the technical. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But, we'll see. I'm going to keep a positive attitude. In my mind, I'm still going to the top. So we'll see. No idea where the trail is. No idea where anybody else is. There's a group of five guys I'm supposed to be with. Sounds about right, sounds like a normal trip. How are you feeling? I'm feeling confident. Like, I mean, out there could still super suck. There's places where once, I think once you climb up it, you're not going to be able to down climb it. Right. Um, so you're going to be super committed. But once you get, if you get to that saddle over there, you could ski down that fine. Um, do you think? This is like, I don't know, I, where the sun is at, I do not know if that's going to soften up today. I mean, it's definitely a no fall zone. For sure. A tumble is not. No. Because once you tumble, you're going, you're, you keep going. Well, you're, well, you're going to ragdoll down cliffs oh, yeah. for a thousand feet. So I'm actually looking at that chute over there and wondering if that's where I want to ski today. <laughs> the grand.
granny shoot? <laughs> the granny shoot. I'm all for it. <laughs> Tim ultimately made a called hike down, and the rest of us pressed on. We've got the whole crew here now. Even Joel caught up. Yeah, Joel! <laughs> <laughs> what the? No, I'm not doing that. What are you talking about? That's what we're doing. <laughs> are you going to climb up it, though? Dude, we're going to the top. That's right, you're going to the top. Yeah, but I'm skiing from both. <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 feet. That's good, that's fine. <laughs> this is where it starts to get a little bit steeper. Oh, there's kind of the steepest part, I think. The beginnings of Chicken Out Ridge were intimidating, steep, but like all their peaks, one step at a time will get you to the top. You can see on both sides of me, steep and steep. I'm just scrambling, going really slow. This is called Chicken Out Ridge. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. It's the snow. It's the fact that I have to climb back down and the sun's only getting hotter. The snow's gonna get a lot softer. Probably start sliding around a little bit. I hate being a but. That's not gonna get me to climb this mountain. <laughs> Call me whatever you want. I'm gonna ski my bowl, hang out by the truck, maybe go to a hot spring. Be good. We were now two men down. Joel turned back. Noah, Alec, and myself were left. Chicken Out Ridge proved to be incredibly steep, so Alec, led us on a route that climbed down the snowy face and around the ridge line. Once on the saddle, we could now see the summit about 900 feet above us. It was pretty straightforward at this point. A boot pack on the snow all the way up to the summit. So 
we're basically done. We're walking to the car and it's just right over yonder. It was a good day. Um, we met some people up there, three other skiers. They were at the top too. They skied down a little bit before us, but they waited for us all the way down and they kind of showed us a way out of here instead of having us travel back to the ridge line. Alec and Noah did amazing. I, I was super impressed. Noah's 21, Alec is 22, and the endurance and the wisdom, super impressed with Alec. He just kind of finds routes and very savvy. So it was cool going with him. Like I've said before, getting to the summit of any 12er is a rewarding experience. You never seem to forget the sights and feeling when at the top. So until next time, stay tuned, stay hungry, and stay wild. It's supposed to be a ski trip, but like all my trips, nothing goes according to plan. On the next episode of the 12ers. Diamond Peak.